Ooh. Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm going to be your nurse today. Hi. Can you tell me, are you currently experiencing any pain? Yeah, I'm having a lot of chest pain right now. Okay. And can you rate your pain on a scale of 0 to 10, 10 being the worst pain? It's like a 7 or 8. Okay. And <clears throat> is it like aching, burning, pressure? It's like really tight, sharp pain. Okay. Alright. And it looks like... Like on here, the doctors ordered a sublingual nitroglycerin medication for you. So I just have a few questions before I can administer that. Do you have any history of any recent heart attacks? No. No? And any head trauma? No. Any hypotension? No, I have hypertension. Okay. <laughs> and, and CAD. Okay. Have you started any new medications recently? Um, I'm just on something that helps with my cholesterol. Okay. And do you have any drug allergies that you know of? No? Okay. All right, let me first, before I do this, can I go ahead and check your name and date of birth? Yeah, it's Linda Love, February 6, 1943. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and scan that bracelet. All right, and prior to the medication, I'm gonna go ahead and get your heart rate and your blood pressure to make sure you're good. So I'm gonna put this up here. Have you taken nitroglycerin sublingual before? No. No? Okay. So the medication, it's a small weight pill, and usually the onset um, for to relieve the pain is within the first one to five minutes, so it's pretty fast, but if the chest pain continues, you can take up to three tablets um, within the first 15 minutes, one every five minutes. And the medication does, it dissolves right under your tongue. So you'll just put it under there and it'll dissolve. Sometimes you'll experience some burning or some tingling as that happens. And just so you know, the side effects, it could cause you to be dizzy. Sometimes it causes a headache pretty fast. And then it could cause hypotension while you're on it. So you definitely don't want to get out of bed without using your colleague, calling the nurse for us to come help you. Okay. So you just let us know if you need <coughs> anything. So I'll give you this, and it'll go right underneath your tongue. Okay. Good job. And then just, you know, while you are, for the future, while you take this medication, you can't chew it, you can't crush it, um, you can't drink anything while it's dissolving or eat anything, and you can't um, smoke any um, cigarettes or drink any alcohol while taking it. Okay. So, right, so it's been about three minutes now, and can you rate your chest pain again for me, Anna? It's subsided a lot. I'm about like a zero one. Which is okay. Fine. All right. Let me just go ahead and check your blood pressure and your heart rate one more time here. All right. All right. Well, it looks like that helps you out a lot. Um, do you have any questions that you can think of about this? I just heard about um, nitroglycerin that females who are over 60 have a um, higher risk for becoming having like electrolyte imbalances. Is that something that I need to worry about? Um, that is, since it's a new medication for you especially, that can be a problem. So you'll have to just follow up with your um, cardiologist as necessary, probably within two weeks I would say. And with it being the new medication, I'm sure they'll run some blood work, some lab tests, just to ensure that everything does stay within balance, within check. Okay. And um, make sure that your oral intake of fluids, drink plenty of water, um, make sure your mouth isn't dry when you take the medication so it can absorb properly. So he'll, um, your physician will help monitor for that, and she should be in shortly to answer any questions that you may have. Okay. So Thank I'm glad you. you're feeling better. Thank you. Sure. Hi, Linda. Hi. Hi, how you doing today? Feeling a lot better after that, after that medication. Good, good. I was just going to ask you, so you took the first dose of that and it did help your chest pains? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's wonderful. And did they explain to you that you can take up to three doses if you still have the chest pain? Yes, I just needed the one. Okay. Well, you're going to be cleared for discharge today as long as everything seems fine to me and she'll go over everything with you to go home. Um, the good news is, is you're not going to need to change your diet too much. Okay. With your history of your coronary artery disease, you're still going to want to stay on a healthy diet low fatty foods, smaller portions of meals, grains, fruits and vegetables, and things like that. Um, and I'm gonna see you back in two weeks. We're gonna do some blood work and make sure everything's good with the medication. So if you should have persistent chest pain and the medicine is not working, then you'll need to call me, okay? okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a listen to your heart if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Make sure everything is good. And you can just breathe normal. OK, 
Okay, heart sounds good to me. Pulse looks good. Everything in the computer looks good. Um, any questions for me? No heart attack or anything? No, nothing that? looks bad at all. I'm going to say that you might have this chest pain for a number of reasons. It could just be stress. Um, anything that's changed in your life, sometimes this can happen with the history that you have. As long as it doesn't stay persistent, I'm not too concerned. Okay. And I will see you back in two weeks, okay? All right, thank you. All right, thank you, Linda. Hi there. Hi. I'm your discharge nurse. Can you just confirm your date and your name and date of birth? Linda Love, um, February 6, 1943. Okay, very good. All right, so I have your, your paperwork here, and I have your discharge paperwork. And it looks like, I'm just going to help you here. Okay. Um, it looks like we have all your forms in for your discharge. Um, so I'm just going to go over some things about your medications that you're going to be sent home with. Um, so we have the nitroglycerin sublingual tablets for you to go home with. Have you ever gone home with any medicine like that before? No. No? Okay. So what you're going to want to do is um, anytime you have any kind of chest pain or anything like that, you can use these tablets. And I'm sure one of the nurses already explained to you already that you can take up to three of the pills if the pain doesn't go away. Um, so um, after you take the third pill, if you still have pain, you're going to definitely want to come to the hospital or call um, an emergency service to come take you to the hospital, but don't try to drive yourself to the hospital because um, that can be dangerous. Um, and then also, um, with the relief of the medicine, you should just put it under your tongue like they explained, I'm sure, and it'll dissolve. And um, it'll dissolve fast and it should take effect pretty fast within one to five minutes. And it should last up to 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and then you're also going to want to carry these, um, this medicine with you at all times. So if you're out shopping or something like that and you get the pain, you, you have it right there with you. Okay. Um, and then just some um, extra information for you um, with the medication. Just make sure you're just taking it as prescribed. Don't, don't take it if you're not having any pain. Or if you're having pain, then don't take more than the three prescribed. Um, and don't, don't give it to anybody else, keep it out of reach of children, things like that. Um, and then you're also, um, once you open the medication, it's going to be good up to eight weeks after you open it. So after those eight weeks, you're going to want to get a new refill of it because it can go bad and it won't work as well. And then also just store it in a cool, dry place in um, a light blocking container. Um, and you're definitely going to want to, um, taper off of it slowly if the doctor doesn't, if it says you're good and you don't need it anymore, um, don't just abruptly stop it. And do you have any questions for me? I think that's about it and we'll get your paperwork going and you'll be out of here pretty soon. Okay, sounds good then. Yeah? yeah. No other questions for me? Just about, if you, can you take that if you're a smoker or if you drink? Um, you can take it, but don't take it while, um, like don't drink alcohol while you have it in your mouth. Just okay. make sure you put it under your tongue and let it dissolve for a while. Don't be drinking alcohol while you're taking the pill. Okay. Okay? All right. All right. Well, I hope you feel better and hope we don't have to see you back anytime soon. I hope so either. Okay. Have a great day.